welcome to my workshop, which is a real mess right now, and I should be tidying it. But instead, I'm procrastinating by looking at this puzzle, which a friend shared with me. So the question is, which tank will empty first, X or Y? They're exactly the same volume. This, uh, this turns out to be quite hard to do, and there's been lots of complicated maths done. But what I've done is I've 3D printed out a model of this, filled it with water and run it, so I know which one finishes first. And I can also explain to you the theory behind it without using any fancy maths or formulas. So that's what this video is going to be about. Feel free to pause and take a look at this puzzle, see if you can solve it. I'm not sure where it came from. It seems to be everywhere right now. If you know who created this, please let me know in the comments and I'll add it to the description. I like to acknowledge things like this. Right, let's get going. Going to really speed through the CAD here. The software I'm using is called Onshape and it runs in your browser. I'll make this model public and I'll put a link in the description. In the CAD work, what I've done is created the green and blue cones here, which represent water inside the tank. And once I've done that, I'm then going to build a tank around it, which is this blue thing you can see now. A bit of fiddling around whilst I'm working out what I want to do. Export into Bamboo Studio, and here there's just a few things to check so that it prints cleanly. Send it to the printer, and here we have four and a half hours of printing in just a few seconds. We 3D printed a model. It's time to take it to the sink, fill it with water, and see what happens. If you don't want to find out which tank empties first, pause now. This is sped up, otherwise it takes far too long. Okay, well, now we know the answer. Tank X is the one, the blue one, that drained first. The question is, why? Can we explain why? And actually, it's quite easy. What you need to do is think about the height of the water at certain volumes. So we've got tank X here, which is the one with a wide top. And then we've got tank Y, which is exactly the same, except it has a narrow top. So that's X, the blue one, and that's Y. So the thing to do is think about what height of water do we have. So when they're both full to the brim here, then we can say which is higher? Which is higher? And the answer here is, well, they're actually equally high. Always going to be equally high at the start because they're both filled to the same level. Also, when they're completely empty at the bottom, then they're also going to be equal because they're, you know, well, they're both empty, so the water level's at the same point. Question is what to do halfway. When half the tank is emptied, where will the water level be? So for X, the halfway line, it's not halfway up. It's actually slightly higher because this volume here is the same as this volume here, but because the bottom is narrower, the water sort of gets pushed together and so the water level will be higher. Whereas with tank Y, the halfway level, when half the water strain, it'll be lower. So the question is, at the halfway point, so that's half, this is also half, at the halfway line, which is higher? Well, x will be higher. And we can say that's the same again. If we draw the, like the, the quarter level mark, well, that'll be sort of here-ish, won't it? Again, this quarter here of x will be higher. So even at the quarter, x will be higher. And at the, like, a quarter to go down here, well, the water level at x is also higher. In fact, anywhere between the start, where they're the same, It'll always be x all the way down until it's empty, which is there. If you empty a quarter, x is going to be higher than y. If you empty half, x is going to be higher than y. And the fact that x is always higher means x will always drain first, because the speed at which it's flowing out is only dependent on the pressure here, and the pressure here is only dependent on how much water there is above. So at the halfway line, the pressure here at the tap 
is equal to this height, or you know, it's related, it's proportional to this height of water. Whereas in tank Y, the same outflow, exactly the same hole, it's only this height of water here. So you get a smaller flow. So at each point of volume, at each bit, X is draining faster than Y. And so X will empty first. And that's what we saw. We saw Y got off to a good start just because it's this high pressure volume, high pressure zone here. So it drained here under high pressure and it did that pretty fast. And also there's not a lot of volume here. So it got through that quickly. And then as it got down and then here where the pressure is lower and so the flow is much lower, it had a lot of water left and it just crawled by. Whereas we saw X took a long time to get going on dropping in height, even though it was flowing fast, there's a lot of volume up here. Then when they met, which is about halfway, or you know, it's about here somewhere, X then started draining slower. You could see that because the little bit of spout that was coming out was slower, like the, the jet from X was less. But it's still, there's so little volume left that it managed to get through it whilst Y was still sitting there. So this is the answer why X always drains fast, and it's because at a like-for-like -like volume, the water level X is always higher, and hence the flow rate is higher. It's really as simple as that. I hope you found that interesting. I did. It was good fun building the model. It was good fun running it. Um, if I had more time, I'd make it a bit better, but I think it's good enough. After this uh, bit of blurb, I'm going to play, I'm going to show the puzzle and then the entire unedited run of the two tanks draining out. So if you want to challenge your friends, you can hop forwards to that, look at the puzzle, pause there, and then watch in real time, which is about four minutes. It's quite good fun to see how people change their minds and go back and forth about what's going to happen. And now I'm going to get back to running to uh, tidying my office. It's a bit of a mess. The reason is I've put a new floor in recently, and so everything had to move not once but twice. Um, and also I have far too little storage, so I need to get some more storage so that things can get off the floor and get off tables and into proper cupboards and shelves. Anyway, thank you very much.